This granite is a great example of an igneous rock. Igneous rocks are all characterized by starting out as molten rock. In fact, the word igneous, the root of that word is the same as the root of the word ignite. Okay, so it implies fire, it implies heat. In this case, this granite started out as molten rock at, at a great temperature. And look at the way that this vein, this dike of molten rock has actually squirted through the surrounding metamorphic rocks. This is, this is metamorphic rock. This is Vishnu schist on either side. This Zoroaster granite started out as a liquid and it made its way through fractures in this rock and filled them up. And then it cooled and as it cooled, different minerals began to crystallize and form large crystals to, to compose this granite. The pink crystal is called feldspar. The white crystal is another type of feldspar. They're sort of glassy, shiny crystals that are quartz, and then the black, shiny, flake-like crystals are biotite mica. And together, all of these minerals compose the igneous rock that we call granite. This is the Zoroaster granite.